And this morning, we are following breaking news out of the Acres Homes area. We have exclusive video here where police have converged on a house in the 8,000 block of White Castle Lane. Several people, four in fact, were being held captive there against their will. Welcome to Eyewitness News this morning. I'm Art Rascone. And I'm Melanie Lawson. For the very latest on this still developing story in Acres Homes, we want to go straight to Eyewitness News reporter Pooja Lodia. And Pooja, at this point, do we know why they were being held? At this point, we do not, but we do know that police are describing this scene as a prison camp. Here behind me, you can actually see one of the men who police tell us was being held here against his will. That man over there in the striped shirt, he, I guess, told police that he had been here for several years. Police arrived here on scene just after 8 a.m. They say they got a call for a welfare check. When they arrived, they tell us that the door was nailed shut. There were allegedly four people in that room over there to the right, the one with the foil sort of over the door. That's where police say that four people were being held. Police say that the room was filthy, didn't have any furniture inside of it. Police have actually described it as almost a warehouse for people. Now, Sky I HD was overhead. As some of those alleged victims were brought out of the home, there are four of them. They are age 79, 54, 74, and about 65 years old. Police say one of those men actually told them that he had been living here for 10 years, and three of those men were in such bad physical shape they couldn't even walk out of the home without help. Also, living in this house, three women, that is a grandmother, a mother, and a daughter, also a man in his 40s. That man, police say, has been taken into custody, may be facing charges at this point. Police tell us it appears that the suspect was possibly keeping these four men inside the house. They believe he may have had power of attorney over them. One of them seemed to think that he was uh, just picked up off the street, kind of recruited to come and stay here in exchange for beer and cigarettes and a place to stay. He had to turn over his uh, social security check. And again, three of those alleged victims were taken to the hospital. They are at LBJ Hospital where they are expected to be okay. One of those men you are seeing right now, he is still here on the scene. We are told that somebody is going to be coming here to pick him up to potentially take him to the Veterans Administration Hospital. And we have spoken to several neighbors who live around here. Many of them tell us that they didn't really know anything can anything suspicious was happening here, but they tell us that they do recognize those alleged victims. So they thought that those men were potentially living here, maybe friends of the family, something like that. So there is, of course, still a lot of confusion out here. Adult Protective Services, we're told, is on the way over here to make sure that these men here are doing okay. For now, we are live in North Houston. Pooja Lodia, 13, Eyewitness News. Pooja, this is just a mind-boggling story as we're listening to you talk. So do we understand that these men were kept here for years and years in return for somebody taking their social security and welfare checks? That's what Houston police are telling us at this point, that it does seem like a suspect who lived here had some sort of power of attorney over them, was taking their money in some way in return for allowing them to stay here. But again, they're describing that room where these men were allegedly living in as, as a, a warehouse, as a prison camp, as a filthy, dirty place with no furniture, as really no place anybody should be living in. Wow, and it's awfully surprising as well that apparently they were kept in such bad conditions that they had to be, well, they were on stretchers when they were rolled out of there. Right. Police say many of those men, I mean, we are talking about elderly men. We're talking about men who were in their late 70s, early 80s. But police are saying that many of them are seemed so confused. Many of them didn't even want to leave the house. They didn't know what was happening. And you're seeing right oh. now one of those alleged victims, he's walking around freely. He did not want to speak to us. But I, police have told us before that this man didn't want to leave the house when they came to, to ask him to leave and to go to the oh. hospital. Allegedly, he didn't want to leave. He wanted to stay here. I guess the only home he's known for quite a while. Wow. Well, we know there are lots of questions you've got to Absolutely. ask. Absolutely. So we're going to turn you back over to uh, the scene there. And if you find out more, if you would get back to us at the break. Thank you so much.